Donetsk National University is one of the largest universities in Ukraine and ranks among many national and international lists of top universities. Since it first opened its doors, nearly 150,000 students have graduated from the university in a wide number of fields. Donetsk National University was also one of the first higher education institutions in Ukraine to begin using cloud technologies to support its teaching and administrative activities. The difficult socio-political situation has shaken the entire country. 18,000 DNU students were left without any possibility of continuing their studies. But the university administration and the government quickly decided to relocate Donetsk National University to Venezia. Because DNU was so open to modern technologies, the mobile university quickly became fully operable in its new location. Soon it was once again offering high quality education and training qualified professionals. Neither students nor faculty had to wait while new servers were purchased or set up as all university systems were fully operational from the cloud immediately following the move. When we moved to Venezia at the end of September, we faced no problems whatsoever in organizing our teaching process. We simply went into the lecture hall, turned on our equipment and began working with our students. Due to the fact that the university's IT services have been systematically developing and that Office 365 was deployed in the last three years, DNU's 18,000 students and 2,000 instructors have been linked within the university's unified cloud network. Since relocating, just as before, they are all able to continue working together with documents, using email with expanded functions, setting up separate sites for individual working groups, managing projects, exchanging IMs, organizing webinars, and much more. This is all possible at any time, no matter where they happen to be located. Both students and teachers are able to install local versions of Office software on their own devices, laptops, tablets and smartphones, and can also stay in contact, interact and study wherever they may be. We began every day by checking whether one of the university buildings had been damaged and along with it all our infrastructure. Due to the fact that Office 365 was deployed earlier, we were able to painlessly restore our information systems operations at a new location. And all this was possible because the university no longer depended on on-premise servers. All its data is now safely maintained in the cloud. Under present circumstances, when university buildings can suddenly find themselves without electricity, using this kind of technology makes it possible for us to, nonetheless, maintain control over the learning process. Donetsk National University has also developed and delivered a financial management system, which has been used on a commercial basis at other post-secondary institutions. The DNU administration decided to transfer this system, along with its entire IT infrastructure, to the Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. One of the main advantages of Microsoft Azure is the option to develop just about any non-Microsoft product. We are using the cloud platform to operate our model distance learning service, which allows our students to engage in online studies. When it became completely impossible to attend classes, we began to hold video chats with our group. Thanks to the software I had installed on my tablet, I could connect from anywhere I wanted with a consolidated ID to connect LinkedIn, Facebook and SharePoint updates. I was able to stay in touch with both my classmates and teachers at all times. Microsoft and its education division in particular are strategic partners for educational institutions in Ukraine. We have been working with Donetsk National University for the past few years and their IT infrastructure has been set up ideally. So when push came to shove, together we were able to transition the learning process into virtual mode without any problems. Microsoft is always ready to support educational institutions, especially in the process of reforming the education system and to help our educators and students achieve the best possible results.